on a huge pirate group with a length of more than 100 meters. A young man in very simple clothes was quietly cleaning up the garbage on the deck. And when he was done with the tedious work, can't help but let out a long breath. He raised his head and looked around, only to find that no one cared about him. So he sat down in a corner and rested, his heart full of strong helplessness. God damn it, why did he come to the ship of the rocks pirates? His name is Luo Shu, when I was doing art design a few days ago, I just finished watching the last episode of One Piece, and I somehow traveled here. It's fine if it's just time travel, he happened to travel to the ship of the rocks pirates that had just set sail. Serve as a pirate handyman who is brought into the gang. You know the so-called handymen are on the rocks ship, but not even the novice crew. It is simply responsible for cleaning and cleaning up the battlefield. On the rocks pirates, there are dozens of lowly status servants. Any official member, you can grasp the life and death power of the handyman, and you won't even say a word when you kill rocks. At most, let others find another pirate servant. When Luo Shu learned of this information, he was blinded immediately. I'm afraid he came at the wrong time. Besides Whitebeard, which one of these guys is not a madman? On a boat with them, let no one play. This is simply the beginning of hell difficulty. And even if he wanted to escape, with his current low strength, he would have no chance at all. In this case, it's better to take one step at a time and try to strengthen your own strength. After all, although there are many dangers on the rocks pirates, they are also great opportunities. To know the rocks pirates, but long before the Roger pirates became famous, they were already the strongest pirates in the world. And in this pirate group, there are many famous heroes from all walks of life in the future, such as Edward Newgate, Charlotte Linlin, Kaido of the Beasts, Golden Lion Shaki and others. If you can learn some skills from them, not to mention being able to dominate the sea. At least it should be no problem to stabilize in New World. Luo Shu rested for a while, when getting up to continue working. Suddenly, a cold mechanical sound came from his ear. Ding. Host detected. Congratulations to host for activating the strongest career system. The host profession is currently detected, confirmed to be a pirate, and binding is in progress. When Luo Shu heard that voice, he also cheered up immediately, and his eyes couldn't help but brighten up. As he is familiar with all kinds of novels, he naturally knows what this means. Cheat in Legendary. Although it is not clear what the purpose of this cheat is, Luo Shu already had a premonition in his heart. In the days to come, I'm afraid it won't be as bleak as he thought. Binding Progress 30%. Binding Progress 50%. The Binding Progress is 90%. Dot the Binding is successful. Host can view the properties panel. Heard that. Luo Shu hurriedly muttered in his heart to check the property panel, and the translucent screen also appeared in front of him with a series of data. Luo Shu age. 14 years and 7 months position, handyman. Combat power. 5, ordinary people are 5, skill, none. Strength evaluation. A slag with only 5 combat effectiveness. Work unit. Rocks pirates Luo Shu glanced roughly. When he saw this strength evaluation, his face suddenly became a little ugly. I can't help but whisper in my heart, how can he bind a system by himself and still be so vicious? Be reasonable, it's impossible for him to have only 5 combat power. After all, he is only 14 now, and he is still growing up. It is not bad to have a combat power of 5. After he understands the functions of the system. His face just relaxed a lot. According to the system. This is the strongest occupation system, as long as you work 8 hours a day, you can get a basic salary. And if the working hours reach 12 hours, you can even get extra overtime pay. If working overtime on weekends and holidays. It is also possible to get more rare and precious overtime rewards. And the rewards obtained by going to work can quickly improve one's combat effectiveness. More importantly, if you make extra performance during working hours, you can even get cherished rewards. Whether it is devil fruit or other skills, it's all out of the question. And because of these requirements, it is also very affectionately called by Luo Shu the worker system. Migrant workers have the soul of migrant workers, and migrant workers are all masters. Luo Shu silently encouraged himself, at the corner of his mouth. He couldn't help showing some smiles. He was finally able to successfully take his first step in this pirate world. At this moment, the mechanical sound sounded again. Congratulations to host for getting an entry gift package. Yes, no on. Luo Shu was overjoyed when he heard the voice. Open. Open now, with the excited voice in his heart. Ding. The entry spree has been opened. Congratulations to host for getting a copy of Primary Conqueror's Hockey, Primary Physical Skill, and Primary Sword Skill. All talents are upgraded to the top level, as the voice of the system falls. 
A scorching and warm current suddenly emerged from the depths of Luo Shu's body, accompanied by the continuous surge of meridians, he couldn't help but make him close his eyes tightly to sense the changes in the depths of his body. And this hot current lasted for a quarter of an hour before it stopped. Fully raised his height by a few centimeters. Fortunately, few people usually pay attention to the height of a pirate handyman, otherwise they will definitely be seen as flaws. Luo Shu suddenly opened his eyes, and there was a look of joy in them. He can clearly perceive, the strong power contained in my current body is completely different from before. And now he has initially mastered Conqueror's hockey. Although the intensity is not high, but compared to before, Luo Shu already felt very satisfied. After all, one should not be too greedy, and now that all his talent levels have been pulled to the highest level, it is relatively easy to improve. Luo Shu took the opportunity to take another look at his attributes. Luo Shu age, 14 years and 7 months position, handyman. Combat power. 505 for ordinary people, skills. Primary swordsmanship, 1 one hundredth, primary physical arts, 1 one hundredth, primary conquerors hockey, 1 one hundredth. Strength evaluation. Now the strength of host is close to major naval headquarters, although most of them rely on the improvement brought by conquerors hockey, the actual combat power is still relatively weak. Work unit. Rocks Pirates Luo Shu glanced at the system description. Compared with his original combat power, his current combat power has reached 500, which is a hundredfold increase. One can imagine the increase in strength that this entry gift package brought to him. Although it is still not enough to see on the Rocks pirate ship. But compared with the original, this is definitely a world changing experience for him. If you take his former self as an example, Luo Shu can instantly kill him with a single punch. Until he glanced at the strength evaluation, only then did I gradually calm down my fiery heart. As mentioned above in the system review, most of his combat power now depends on the increase brought by Conqueror's Hockey, and he must work hard. Luo Shu thought of this, immediately clocked in without hesitation. Ding. Successful clocking in at work. Work content. Cleaning the boat. Earn rewards. Physical skill point plus one. Swordsmanship point plus one. Hockey point plus one. Eight hours left before get off work. Rewards for clocking in after get off work are doubled. Get extra rewards for doing overtime. Please do not miss work. Luo Shu listened to the voice in his head, he also couldn't help taking a deep breath, and stood up from the ground. Feel the heat flowing through the body, although it can't be compared with the time when I got the big gift package just now, but as long as the accumulation is small. His strength can be significantly improved. Luo Shu's gaze became firm. Starting today, he is about to become a real migrant worker. As a classic game player in the previous life, as long as he can be given a progress bar. No matter how difficult the task is, he will complete it for you. And just when his heart was full of pride, looking into the distance, Wang Wang held the binoculars in his hand, but suddenly his face showed excitement, and he turned his head and shouted loudly. Report. Several marine warships have been found attacking. As his words fell, the vicious pirates on the ship showed the same ferocious and excited smiles. Hey. Those marines can't sit still. Just borrow those guys to let the world know how powerful our pirate group is. Lousy's axe. I can't bear it anymore. You must know that these pirates who can mix with official members. The bounty alone is at least 100 million monsters. If it is not a general level marine, it will be difficult to even pose a threat to them. If it weren't for the absolute strength of rocks as the captain. These pirates will not be obedient. And these incoming marine warships are just used to stand up. The old whitebeard now has blonde hair, looking at the approaching warships in the distance with a calm expression, without showing the slightest panic. As the strongest man in the world in the future. Even if the current strength is far from reaching the peak, he will not be afraid of it. And Golden Lion Shaki is also holding two famous swords. Looking at the incoming warships, he couldn't help laughing. Haha. <laughs> Finally, we can have some fun. Don't let Lousy get bored. Captain. Let's take the initiative to attack and get closer, give those marines some color. There was impatience in his tone, glancing at Rox, who had already been there at some point, smiled at the railing of the pirates. Rox's face was calm, his terrifying observation hockey has long been aware of the incoming warships. The strongest breath is nothing more than a marine vice admiral level. No match for his crew at all, it can just be used for tooth beating festivals, and let these guys have some activities. After thinking it over, Rox glanced at Golden Lion Shaki, and waved his hand quite boldly. Bring the boat over there. Let those marines understand their own weakness. Many pirates immediately cheered, for them, this is the best decision. Luo Shu who was cleaning in the corner showed a wry smile. 
I didn't expect to bind the system just now, just encountered such a battle. Although those marine soldiers are definitely no match for the monster on this ship. But it is also a bigger threat to him, and more importantly. If he is involved in the battle of these monsters, with his current strength, he may only have a dead end. Or just take the opportunity to hide. Just when Luo Shu was hesitating, the system sound in his mind sounded again. Ding. It is detected that the host has activated performance tasks. Performance content. Assist in repelling the incoming marine. A special reward will be given upon completion. Luo Shu's eyes lit up immediately, and then he frowned again. With his current strength, how should he complete this performance task? After a little thought, Luo Shu immediately made up his mind. With his current strength, even if he can't take the lead. But you can still try to fish in troubled waters. Even if you encounter a few marine soldiers who don't have long eyes, it shouldn't be difficult to deal with them. And not far from the rocks pirates, there are three large warships of more than 100 meters, heading towards the direction of the pirate ship. Headed by a middle-aged man wearing a marine vice admiral uniform. He looked at the pirate ship in the distance with a serious face. That pirate ship actually gathered so many vicious people, it seems that Marshal Kong sent us to investigate, it really is a wise choice. These guys can actually gather together, the big pirate rocks is really not an ordinary person. It seems that we must reassess the threat of this pirate group. And while he pondered, the marine soldiers on the side ran up to him with nervous expressions. Lucas Vice Admiral, that pirate ship found us. It's galloping here. Lucas was shocked when he heard this. What? Damn, it really is a group of vicious pirates. Let the soldiers prepare for the enemy. You must know that the era of great pirates has not yet opened up. Marine, as the face of the world government, is still the overlord of the entire sea world. On weekdays, when pirates encounter marines, they can only run away. Like rocks, the ones who directly attacked the marine warships directly after the formation of the pirates. This is the first time Lucas has seen it, is there any reason? Is there still Wong F.A.? Oh shit. It's just a group of pirates who just got together. Let these guys know today that only Marine is the justice in this sea. But he forgot one thing, the so-called justice is nothing but the definition of a winner. And this time the enemies he faced were not the usual chicken pirates. It's Rox, the true overlord of pirates, boom boom boom. With the roar of gunfire, the three large warships showed no fear at all. Heading straight towards the direction of the Rox pirates. But things like cannonballs are okay for ordinary pirates, but if you encounter those monsters where Locke is a pirate group, it's not enough. So Lucas quickly ordered to prepare for the boarding battle. At his command, those marine soldiers also mobilized one after another, preparing to wipe out the pirate group that had just gathered together in one go. According to Lucas, no matter how strong the pirate is, he is definitely not a single enemy in front of the unstoppable marine. He ordered confidently, give it to me, annihilate all of these hateful pirates. Don't lose the prestige of our marine. And with the boarding battle that just started, his confident expression was quickly covered with panic, and he looked at the scene in front of him in disbelief. Are these gathered pirates all monsters? The huge three warships have surrounded Rock's pirate ship at this moment. This seems to be surrounded by a net of heaven and earth. But in front of that absolute difference in strength, it turned into nothing. Gu la la la. It seems that I have been underestimated. Edward Newgate condensed the power of shock fruit and with a sudden wave of his hand, he easily blew away the approaching marine soldiers. Even if he has not reached his peak strength, it is definitely an out-and-out -out monster, haha, <laughs> Newgate, let's see who killed more people. Golden Lion Shaki couldn't wait to wave the blade in his hand, and cut a marine in front of him in half, and Scarlet's blood flowed down like a fountain. For those of them, the so-called marines are just prey to increase the bounty. Unexpectedly, not long after the formation of the pirates, these unsightly marines rushed up to give away their heads. Although Newgate didn't like what Golden Lion Shaki did. But I won't say much. Those sailors saw the astonishing strength of these vicious pirates. Immediately panicked. How is it possible? These pirates are actually so strong. Damn. Guns don't work at all. Damn. Dot are these guys monsters? To know that on weekdays, those so-called pirates obviously only knew how to scurry away but they didn't expect to meet such a terrifying guy this time, as if they were not afraid of naval headquarters revenge at all. The guns of the marine soldiers shot at Charlotte Linlin, leaving no trace of injury. You must know that she was a natural monster who could break a titan's elbow when she was a child. Dealing with these sailors is a piece of cake. While the crowd was fighting, several marine soldiers also stared at the underage Luo Shu, with excited smiles on their faces, waving the blades in their hands and rushing straight towards him. 
you must know that the head of a pirate can count meritorious deeds. And in their eyes, a stunned young man like Luo Shu, who is only in his early teens, is the best guy to deal with. And just when their blades were about to strike Luo Shu's body, but found that the opponent's feet twisted suddenly, easily sideways to avoid the blade, and grabbed the attacking palm and squeezed it suddenly. The palm covered with armed color easily crushes the palm bone. While the sailor was screaming, Luo Shu snatched the short sword of the sea soldier in one fell swoop, and confronted the remaining sea soldiers. He glanced at the sailors around him, after taking a deep breath, he held the newly bloodied short sword. With the conqueror's hockey he had just received, Luo Shu didn't have to be too afraid of the bullets from the marine soldiers. But despite this, he still has to be careful. After all, there are many officers in these headquarters marines. His current strength is good against ordinary sailors, but if he really meets those general level officers, it will be troublesome. The surrounding marine soldiers also looked at each other. Obviously, they also saw from the experience of their companion just now that the seemingly immature boy in front of him was not an easy character to deal with. HMPH, it's just that the strength is stronger, let's go together. Could it be that you can't deal with a kid? The leading sea soldier snorted coldly, and led a few soldiers to rush towards Luo Shu. Luo Shu also looked fierce, the tyranny in his eyes flashed past, and the sharp weapon in his hand was ready to kill himself. Fight. According to the performance tasks mentioned by the system, as long as they can be completed. There will definitely be no shortage of rewards. As time goes by, the many pirates engaged in the boarding battle also captured these three warships very easily. The sailors on the warship were also slaughtered. After all, the rocks pirates are not good men and women, and they never have the so-called concept of captives, and even the members often fight. If it weren't for the presence of rocks, I didn't know how many troubles would arise. There were scenes of dead bodies everywhere, and even the marine vice admiral Lucas fell to the ground with his eyes wide open. A big hole was punched out of his chest. Obviously dead can't die anymore. And more importantly, there were no other wounds on this naval headquarters vice admiral's body, and he was easily killed by one move. The pirates next to them were also secretly startled. If they were to deal with this marine vice admiral, it would take a lot of effort even to win. It is impossible to do such an easy one-stroke instant kill. And the instigator of all this, Rox, on the other hand, he stood at the bow of the ship with a calm expression, looking at the battlefield that had just ended. To him, dealing with this level of marine is nothing more than a piece of cake. If it is not for the establishment of prestige. It is absolutely impossible for these three warships to come to such a close position without incident. And most of the pirates behaved as he expected. The strength is definitely not weak, and when he scanned the corner of the dripping battlefield, but found an interesting scene. He saw a thin young man with a marine short sword in his hand, covered in blood, in his eyes. By his side, several marine soldiers fell. The boy was panting heavily, obviously very tired. If Rox remembers correctly, this kid should be the new handyman. Just killing a few marine soldiers is so exhausting. It is true that he is not qualified to serve as an official crew member. But just when Rox was about to look away, he caught an unusual sense of coercion from the boy, and his pupils suddenly contracted. His perception can't be wrong, it's conqueror's hockey. Conqueror's hockey, it is a superpower that only one person in a million has. Different from observation hockey and armament hockey, conqueror's hockey is innate, it can neither be acquired nor inherited, but can only be determined by one's own destiny. And conqueror's effect, it can affect the consciousness of others, and can deter or even stun existences that are much weaker than oneself. It is equivalent to one more ability to clear miscellaneous soldiers. Certainly, if the conqueror's hockey is cultivated to an extremely high level, it can even cause substantial physical damage, truly killing the enemy invisible. Certainly, this effect can only be used on those who are weak. And the rocks aren't without conqueror's hockey on board. All officers, including rocks, have conqueror's hockey. To some extent, this can be regarded as one of the necessary conditions to become a cadre. But this little ghost named Luo Shu has not yet reached that level of strength, but he has already awakened conqueror's hockey. It is enough to show how talented hockey is, and now he looks so young, if he grows up a few more years, it may not be a big help for him. Rocks suddenly pondered. At this moment, Luo Shu didn't notice the other person's eyes at all. But after hearing the mechanical sound coming from his mind, he couldn't help grinning happily. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the performance task. Get the reward. 8 Inner Gates Technique, Improved. As the sound dies away, a series of large amounts of information suddenly flooded into his mind. When Luo Shu came back to his senses, there was an uncontrollable joy in his eyes. This is a divine skill. 
Now, my master can leapfrog the challenge. He couldn't help shouting from the bottom of his heart. Eight Inner Gates Technique, the forbidden technique from the well-known migrant worker manga, Hokage Ninja, can liberate the meridian system flowing in the body. Forcibly increase their own strength, if it can be fully opened, it can even explode dozens of times stronger than usual. Obtaining such a powerful skill naturally made Luo Shu feel very happy. Rox pondered for a moment, suddenly noticed the smile on the corner of Luo Shu's mouth. Those bloodline-filled cheeks combined with a ferocious smile looked like a ghost from hell. When Rox saw his expression, only then did I feel relieved. Not only did this kid kill so many sea soldiers without fear, but he also showed a maniacal smile on his face, which was enough to show that he was born to be a pirate. It would be too wasteful to be a handyman or something. How did he know? Luo Shu's smile was not because of killing the sea soldier at all, but because of the extremely generous performance reward. Seeing that the battlefield was almost cleaned up, Rox coughed lightly. Cough cough. Many pirates stopped what they were doing and focused their attention on Rox. Hey. Boss Rox. Who are we going to kill next? Killing Marine right out of the water, it feels so good. The future is our time. Seeing this, Rox also waved his big hand in a heroic manner, with a bold smile on his face, and shouted in a resonant voice. Those bastard Marines dare to hit the attention of our Rox pirates. It must be returned. Let them know we're not to be messed with. Prepare the celebration banquet tonight. Let's have a good drink together. The voice fell, the pirates below immediately cheered. Finally, we can drink good wine, it is the captain's treasure. Why ha ha ha. As expected of Captain Rox, I'm afraid even those marine admirals are here, they are not our opponents at all. Luo Shu couldn't help but secretly sighed, looks like I'm busy again tonight. After all, so many pirates don't know much about hygiene. In the end, the cleaning work still falls on the heads of these handymen. And Rox didn't finish talking, after glancing at Luo Shu, he pointed his finger and continued to speak again. In the battle just now, there was a handyman who performed pretty well. Luo Shu, you will be listed as a reserve novice crew member from now on. Let's forget about the handyman's job, and as his voice fell. The surrounding pirates were also a little confused. I was so excited to kill just now, I didn't care about any chores at all. It wasn't until he followed Rock's finger and saw a blood-soaked teenager that he realized it immediately. Isn't this kid the handyman who usually cleans up the toilet? I didn't expect to look conscientious at ordinary times. Killing the sea soldiers is also merciless. Most of the pirates don't have any complaints, after all, it's just an extra novice crew for them, and it won't threaten their position at all. Luo Shu was shocked when he heard the words, if you get rid of your status as a handyman, at least you don't have to be afraid of being killed wantonly on this ship. You must know that this is also one of the few iron rules on the rock ship. Cannot kill a partner, unless one party agrees to a duel. Ding. The current host position has changed. Congratulations to host for his new position, Rock's prep novice member. The corners of Luo Shu's mouth still twitched when he saw the words preparing novice. In today's Rock's pirates, the lowest is the novice crew. I didn't expect that I could become even lower. Even so, Luo Shu was very satisfied with it. After all, even monsters as strong as Kaido of the Beasts are just novice crew members when they first enter the ship. A smile appeared on Luo Shu's face, and he nodded in the direction of Rox. Thank you Captain. Edward Newgate and Golden Lion Shaki also glanced at Luo Shu, and soon revealed a look of understanding. Obviously also recognized the faint coercion on the opponent. Since he was able to awaken conquerors hockey at such a young age, he must have a lot of talent in this area. No wonder the picky captain of his family would make an exception. Let a handyman become a reserve novice. A few of them have mastered conquerors, which is not a difficult task, as are other cadres headed by Silver Axe. That's why there are no comments, and Luo Shu felt a little helpless. The primary conqueror's hockey I just mastered is really not very proficient in using it. It will take more practice in the future, but the most important thing now is to go back to the room and tidy up. The eight inner gates that I just obtained, night. The lights were dim. At the celebration banquet, most of the pirates also focused their attention on this incomparably sumptuous banquet. And in a corner room, Luo Shu quietly sorted out the information in his mind by himself. To know the original eight inner gates, although it can directly and greatly improve its own strength. But the same will also cause a terrible burden on the body. Turning on the seventh gate will put a person in bed for a week, and opening the eight gate will only lead to death. If used for a long time, it will even leave hidden diseases in his body and he may be riddled with serious diseases like Whitebeard in the future. However, as an improved version of eight inner gates issued by the system. 
The side effects are naturally weakened a lot. Even if the 8 gate is fully opened, it will be weak for a period of time at best. There will be no fear of life. The chakra that was originally needed to open the 8 inner gates has been completely replaced with the power of the constitution meridians in One Piece world. It completely solved Luo Shu's worries, and unconsciously. It was already 9 o'clock in the evening. Following the silent recitation in Luo Shu's heart, the sound of skilled machinery sounded immediately. Ding. Successful clocking in after get off work, received extra overtime pay. Work content. Cleaning earn rewards physical skill point plus 2. Swordsmanship point plus 2. Hockey point plus 2. Washa gourmet coupon plus 1. Listening to the voice in his head, Luo Shu couldn't help but his eyes lit up. Had to say, as expected, it was a reward after working overtime, and it was not at the same level as in the morning. At this rate, in just a little over a month, he can upgrade his physical skills, sword skills, and conqueror's hockey to the intermediate level. In this case, he can raise his combat power to a higher level. And if I'm not mistaken, he now has a new position, which will lead to certain changes in the content of his work. And the Washa food coupons obtained this time can be used to exchange for food and wine from Washa, which is also a pleasant surprise for Luo Shu. Compared with his old Chinese delicacies, most of the food in the pirate world is simply not worth mentioning. It seems that we still have to work overtime a lot in the future. Yi Tianzhao glanced at the marine short sword beside him, as the trophy for killing marine, this knife naturally belonged to him. Although his current strength is still incomparable to those monsters on the ship. But it was also his first step. As long as he continues like this, he will undoubtedly become one of the best in this world of pirates. Biggest Dark Horse. Thinking of this, Luo Shu couldn't help feeling a little excited, and got up to a corner of the boat in the dark. Start practicing what you have just mastered from the system. Primary fencing. His current kendo talent is also top notch, even compared with Hawkeye, his talent is not inferior, even better. With the assistance of top kendo talents and systems. Let his kendo practice become stronger day by day. If I have to say something lacking, that is his kendo talent. And while he was under the moonlight, while waving the long sword in his hand, a voice suddenly sounded beside him. Hey, brat. What are you doing here? Hearing the sudden sound, Luo Shu quickly stopped and looked towards the source of the sound. Caught in his gaze, it is a man dressed in a kimono, with long gold hair on his back, and carrying two famous swords, Sakura Ten, and Karaki, on his waist. One of the great pirates in the legendary of later generations, Golden Lion Shiki. Luoxi also reacted immediately, he looked at Golden Lion Shiki and said with a smile. I'm practicing swordplay. He also had some doubts in his heart, how could Golden Lion Shiki be here? Logically speaking, shouldn't the other party be at the banquet at this time? You know that the rock's party will last until late at night, and it won't end so soon. And just when Luo Shu was puzzled, Golden Lion Shiki also squinted his eyes, looking at the boy in front of him. If I remember correctly, as a reserve novice member named by Rox, this brat was able to awaken Conqueror's hockey at such a young age, which is indeed a good talent. But in all aspects it still looks too immature. There is no threat to his position on the ship. Golden Lion Shiki couldn't help but snorted softly. HMPH. As for your little three-legged cat's swordsmanship, you really need to practice it. Otherwise, I'm afraid it will make people laugh out loud. Luo Shu also felt helpless all of a sudden, compared with a great swordsman like Golden Lion, his current swordsmanship is indeed weak. He just nodded slightly. Well, I'll try my best, Shiki. A powerful swordsman like you, there is no second one on the whole ship. Golden Lion Shiki was praised, a smile suddenly appeared on his face, and he reached out and patted Luo Shu's shoulder. Haha. It's you who knows the goods, let me give you some pointers. Let you kid understand what real swordsmanship is. And upon hearing this, Luo Shu couldn't help but feel happy all of a sudden, and smiled with the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Then thank you Shiki. You must know that although Golden Lion Shiki's current strength has not yet reached its peak. But it is also undoubtedly a swordsman level figure. If you can get his advice, for the improvement of Luo Shu Primary's swordsmanship. Definitely a great benefit. And next, Golden Lion began to point out Luo Shu's swordsmanship practice, completely unaware that he was prostituted for nothing. In his opinion, no matter how fast Luo Shu progresses, he can't catch up with him who has become a swordsman at all. And with the passage of time, ding, get advice from the swordsman, current sword skill point plus one oh. Luo Shu stood on the deck panting, his whole body was dripping with sweat, and the hand holding the sword was almost completely weak. But he couldn't help being excited in his heart. 
10 sword skills points are equivalent to what he has gained from working for several days. Sure enough, Golden Lion is worthy of being the legendary pirate who will become a great swordsman in the future. Getting the advice from the other party will be of great benefit to his swordsmanship practice. And as the Golden Lion who guides him, he snorted lightly and stared at Luo Shu in front of him. Let's stop here, your kid's swordsmanship is still so bad. But there was some surprise in his heart, this handyman named Luo Shu, the speed at which his swordsmanship progresses is too frightening. You must know that even the original him, compared with the progress of the opponent, they are all slightly inferior. Maybe he will be able to step into the realm of swordsmen within a few years, and the kid will not be twenty years old by then. Thinking of this, Golden Lion couldn't help but gasped. Jian Hao, who is less than twenty years old, this is definitely breaking the record of the entire new world today. This kid seems to be not only a monster in conquerors, but also not inferior in swordsmanship. Luo Shu took a few breaths on the spot, looking up at Shiki, he still said with a smile on his face. Thank you Shiki for your pointers. Speaking of which, what is Shiki's business here? You must know that very few people come to this corner on weekdays, let alone the official members of the ship. When Golden Lion Shiki heard this, he couldn't help but see a gleam of anger in his eyes, and slapped his hand directly on the fence. HMPH, that bastard Nugate drank all the wine. Now there is no alcohol on the whole ship, it's going to piss me off. For the Golden Lion, a banquet without fine wine is a torment. And when Luo Shu heard what Golden Lion Shiki said, the mind also became active immediately. Didn't he just sign in for a voucher for Washa cuisine? According to the introduction, fine wines from the Washa region can also be included in the food. Anyway, Golden Lion Shaki will be able to make a big fuss about naval headquarters alone in the future. And it also attaches great importance to friendship. Although her personality is a bit biased, if she makes friends with her a little bit, there is no harm. But Luo Shu didn't intend to just give away the wine for nothing. He glanced at Golden Lion Shaki beside him, and whispered with a smile on his face. Shaki, in that case. I have a bottle of fine wine brought from my hometown in my room, would you like to try it? Hearing Luo Shu's words, Golden Lion Shiki's eyes lit up, and he quickly reached out and patted Luo Shu's shoulder. Good boy, hurry up and bring me the wine. I'd like to see what fine wine it is. There was a bit of excitement in his tone, looking at Luo Shu in front of him, he felt more and more pleasing to his eyes. Luo Shu coughed lightly and said with a smile on his face. But before that, I still have a question I want to ask. What is the difference between the so-called great swordsman and the swordsman? This is something that Luo Shu has always been curious about. After all, although there are great swordsmen and swordsmen in the world of pirates, what is the real difference between the two is completely a blind spot of his knowledge. And Golden Lion snorted softly after hearing the words. You are not even a swordsman now, what's the use of knowing so much? Forget it, it's okay to tell you, the gap between the swordmaster and the great swordmaster is definitely a world of difference. There is a total of three gaps between Jianhao and Dejianhao. These three points are body, heart, and momentum. Only when you reach the pinnacle of these three points in the future will you have the opportunity to be the king of the great swordsman. And Luo Shu couldn't help asking curiously, body, mind, momentum, what do these mean? Golden Lion Shaki glanced at Luo Shu angrily, said with a little displeasure, don't interrupt. Physical body refers to the body. If you want to reach the top of the great swordsman, your physical fitness must also be raised to the top level. Otherwise, you will not be able to use powerful sword moves at all. And the heart refers to one's own will. Only those with a clear state of mind and unwavering confidence in their own strength will have the opportunity to set foot on this point. Position is the general trend. The general trend has been achieved, and the sword moves are naturally extremely fierce, and the sword will will be transformed into a substantial substance heard the words. Luo Shu suddenly fell into deep thought. It really sounded extraordinary. As the top swordsman, Hawkeye's strength was probably beyond imagination. It's no wonder that he can evenly compete with Shanks in the Four Emperors. And Golden Lion Shaki is also a little emotional. The first point is easy to say, but the second and third points are really embarrassing. Most of the swordsmen are stuck behind. Luo Shu also nodded in agreement. The latter realm sounds very mysterious, but since he has systematic help, naturally he won't worry too much. And Shaki glanced at Luo Shu. I've already said the difference between a great swordsman and a swordsman. Let's bring the wine over next. Luo Shu smiled, turned around and went back to his room, and quietly got a bottle of finely brewed liquor through the voucher. Holding the wine bottle, he returned to Golden Lion Shaki, handed him the bottle and smiled. Here, Shaki. 
This is the fine wine from my hometown, and it is definitely not to be missed. He has absolute confidence in this. He also tasted some of the drinks in Pirate World, and they couldn't be compared with the original Washa. Golden Lion Shaki couldn't wait to take the wine bottle, opened it easily and poured it into his mouth. The spicy taste made him squint his eyes and his face suddenly became extremely happy. Good wine. This is the first time Lousy has had such a good wine. Where is your hometown, kid? I'm going to go shopping and buy more of this wine in the future. The taste of this fine wine is simply irresistible. He has been at sea for so many years, and he has never drunk such a wine. Luo Shu slightly shook his head. My hometown is far away, I'm afraid Shaki won't meet for a while. Hearing this, Golden Lion Shaki also put down the wine bottle with some regret. After putting the bottle of wine in his pocket, he looked at Luo Shu and grinned. Little ghost, wait until you become stronger later. Just strive to become an official crew member as soon as possible. As long as the other party can become an official member of the Rocks Pirates, he will naturally invite a talented genius like Luo Shu when the gang disbands. You must know that Golden Lion Shaki had no intention of staying here forever from the very beginning. If it weren't for the powerful strength of Rocks, I'm afraid I wouldn't join it. Following Golden Lion Shiki's voice, he stepped lightly and disappeared in place. Luo Shu was left alone. And Luo Shu looked at the other party who was leaving, and there was a slight flicker in his eyes. He is also Ming Baijin Lion Shiki's idea, but because of this, Luo Shu will definitely not join the opponent's pirate group at that time. With his strength at that time, it is already enough to gallop on this sea. Late at night, the naval headquarters building is still dimly lit. The current Marine Marshal Kong looked at the information in his hand with a solemn expression. It's really a big move. The majesty of Marine must be maintained. The atrocities committed by the guy from the Rocks Pirates are impressively recorded on the intelligence. None of the three warships, including hundreds of Marine soldiers and officers, survived, which can be regarded as a very heavy loss. Even Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Lucas was easily killed by Rocks without any resistance. From this point alone, it is enough to see the strength of the Rocks Pirate Group, which is definitely the apex of the New World Pirates today. You must know that in the New World, almost 90% of the famous big pirates have joined the Rocks Pirates. And the Rocks Pirate Group that can gather this group of people, I am afraid that in terms of strength alone, it is already enough to compare with most of the advanced combat power that Naval Headquarters can use. You must know that although Marine is called the Overlord of the Sea, the Marine advanced power that can actually be used is not strong. Although there are many talented Vice Admirals in the current Marine, such as Garp and Sengoku who rose not long ago, both of them are very talented Vice Admirals. It should only be a matter of time before becoming Admiral in the future. But at this stage, the three Admirals are indeed not as strong as before, and they can only wait until Garp's generation grows up. I'm afraid it will be the real strongest Marine. In any case, the appearance of the Rocks Pirates is undoubtedly a challenge for naval headquarters today. You have to think hard about it. Kong sighed helplessly, feeling a little embarrassed for a moment. It seems that we can only try to find some opportunities. A month flies by. Early morning. Rocks Pirate Ship. A young man holding a famous knife quietly came to the deck and began to exercise hard. Ding. Successful clocking in at work. Work content. Exercise strength. Earn rewards physical skill point plus two, swordsmanship point plus two. Hockey point plus one inch. Since Luo Shu's position was changed to a reserve novice member, the tasks that need to be performed every day have also changed from the original cleaning to switching strengths. You kid came out to exercise again today. Golden Lion Shaki just came out and saw Luo Shu who was about to train. During this full month, he has gotten used to Luo Shu's very regular exercise time every day. From 9 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the evening every night, for 12 hours in a row, almost except for the time for eating, he was exercising very regularly. This kind of monster-like self-discipline also made everyone on the Rock's pirate ship feel a little scared. What surprised them even more was Luo Shu's unreasonable progress speed. In this short period of one month, Luo Shu's strength is completely different from before. And especially after each battle, his strength will become stronger, and his strength has improved a lot. Golden Lion Shaki also saw these changes in his eyes, and even more believed that Luo Shu was a rare genius, and also took the time to teach him several times of swordsmanship. Shaki looked at Luo Shu and frowned slightly. Little ghost, exercising like you is too crazy, you should pay more attention to your body. It will be unbearable at that time. You must know that Luo Shu is only in his teens now, and his body has not yet fully grown up. If he does this level of exercise, it will easily leave hidden dangers. Luo Shu also smiled when he heard the words, Shaki, you can rest easy. 
I have a good rest every day, and this kind of exercise is not a problem at all. When talking with Shiki, he also opened his current attribute panel smoothly. Luo Shu age, 14 years and 8 months position, preparatory internship member. Combat power, 1500, 5 for ordinary people, skills, intermediate swordsmanship, 79 one thousandths, intermediate physical arts, 48 one thousandths, intermediate conquerors hockey, 20 one thousandths, 8 inner gates technique, mastered. Strength evaluation. The strength of host is now close to that of naval headquarters commodore. With the use of eight inner gates, perhaps even the ordinary vice admiral is not an opponent. Work unit. Rocks pirates, items. Washa gourmet coupon 10, big kuisao 9 characters Kansada. After a month of training. After enhancing his talent to the peak and combining with the rewards of the system, his strength has been raised to a whole new level. Moreover, through performance rewards, he successfully obtained a famous sword, second only to the famous sword of the supreme fast sword, and the nine character Kanasada among the twenty-one craftsmen. Although it took some time to explain the origin of this knife, it still managed to fish in troubled waters. Now if eight inner gates broke out, even the official members of the ordinary rocks pirate group, I am afraid he would be able to touch it head on. After all, the improvement in strength brought by the eight inner gates is definitely the most significant. When Golden Lion saw Luo Shu's answer, he couldn't help shaking his head. When he saw Luo Shu on the boat in recent days, he found that he was either exercising during the day or on the way to exercising. He has never seen a pirate who is as diligent as Su Chen, who is not greedy for wine and foreign things at all, and concentrates on improving his own strength. Luo Shu glanced at Shiki and found that Shiki still had a wine gourd in his waist, so he teased and said. Yes, Shiki. You bought a lot of wine recently and came back. When I heard him mention the wine, Golden Lion Shiki snorted uncomfortably. HMPH. The wine on this island is all miscellaneous wine, which is incomparable to what you gave me that day, kid. Do you really only have that bottle? He recalled the spicy and rich taste, and couldn't help swallowing. The taste of the so called Washa fine wine is simply irresistible, and one can't wait to drink another bottle on the spot. Hearing this, Luo Shu also showed a helpless expression on his face. Shaki, I really only have that bottle with me. However, if there are materials, it's not impossible to make it yourself. Although Luo Shu still has extra Washa fine wine coupons on him, if it is exposed now, it will not be of any benefit to him. Seeing what he said, Shaki didn't feel lost for too long, and grinned at Luo Shu who was exercising his sword skills. By the way, you should be ready too, soon we're going to have real revenge on Marine. Hear this. Luo Shu suddenly became interested. Although he already knew that since the last time he was ambushed by Marine, Rox, as the captain, was looking for an opportunity to get revenge on Marine. Now finally there is news, he looked at Shaki curiously and asked. Oh? Then who is the target this time? It's impossible to directly attack naval headquarters, right? Although the rocks pirates at this stage are strong, if they want to compete head-on with naval headquarters, they will definitely pay a huge price. This is definitely not worth the candle. And Golden Lion Shaki also gave Luo Shu an angry look. How could it be possible to go directly to naval headquarters? The target this time is a government-affiliated country called Elodia. It is said that they have gathered a lot of heavenly gold. It is planned to be transported to the holy land of Marie Joys in the near future, and handed over to those celestial dragons. And our goal this time is that batch of heavenly gold. Luo Shu's eyes lit up when he heard the words, if he did this, he would indeed be able to take revenge on Marine. As we all know, heavenly gold refers to a tribute with a specified amount and a huge amount. It is not a simple bailey, but more substantial items such as gold and silver treasures. If this batch of heavenly gold can be snatched, it will undoubtedly be a great supplement to the financial resources of the rocks pirates. And also for world government and celestial dragons, a slap was slapped hard on their faces, making them faceless immediately. It is also a symbol of the incompetence of naval headquarters. This is definitely one of the most direct revenge. Thinking of this, Luo Shu couldn't help but concentrate, and when he was about to say something, he heard rocks extremely powerful and coercive voice coming from the bow of the ship not far away. Our next goal is the world gold in Elodia, United Kingdom. Let those damned marines know that their time has passed, and the real sea supremacy has passed away. It's up to me, Rox, to start a new era. And as Rox's voice fell, the entire Rox pirate group resounded with Wan Lei's cheers. Rox, 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 they shouted the name of Rox in unison, resounding above the sea. These guys have been holding back for too long, and now they finally found such an opportunity, of course it is impossible to let it go. For them, this is definitely a good opportunity to vent their desires. 
When Luo Shu saw this, he shook his head slightly and didn't say much. After staying in this world for so long, he has naturally gotten used to his identity as a pirate. The so-called emotion of pity was completely forgotten when he beheaded those marines. Since he is a pirate, he has to look like a pirate, otherwise, wouldn't he be standing up and down again? And Rock's eyes, after saying those words, set his eyes on Luo Shu on the deck. For the rocks, simply grabbing the gold in the sky is not a big deal at all. After all, you have to know that he has now recruited almost all the top pirates in New World, forming the most powerful pirate group in history. And even if the military power of a franchise country is destroyed in front of rocks, it is just a piece of cake. What he valued more was the performance of this young man named Luo Shu in this war. In this short period of one month, the opponent's rapid improvement in strength has proved that his vision is not wrong. This kind of terrifying talent, even him who is currently at the top of the world, can't help but be amazed by it. This is definitely the fastest growing genius he has ever seen. Rox felt a lot of emotion in his heart, and asked someone to call Luo Shu to him. The other pirates held a banquet as usual, drank and chatted, and had some disputes from time to time. Rox looked at the boy in front of him. To what level has your strength improved now? I'm afraid it's not just the extent that it usually shows. As the maritime overlord of New World today, he is naturally confident enough in his own vision. In his opinion, although Luo Shu's improvement speed is fast enough on weekdays, he still feels that this is not the kid's full strength. Luo Shu was not surprised by this either. After all, no matter what the opponent said, he was still rocks. He really hadn't shown his full strength in this month. And Luo Shu also shrugged, showing a faint smile on his face. Relax, Captain. This time I will let you see my true strength. And hearing what Luo Shu said, Rox couldn't help laughing out loud. And if his words fall into the ears of Shaki just now, I'm afraid it will make the other party even more shocked. Such a monster like progress speed is not the real strength of this boy. Then what are these self proclaimed talented powerhouses in front of Luo Shu? Good boy. Take this thing back and have a look. I look forward to your performance then. Rox took out a booklet from his pocket and threw it directly to Luo Shu in front of him. As Luo Shu took the booklet, Rock's voice sounded next to his ears. This is the training method of advanced conquerors hockey. It should be of some help to you. Hearing this, Luo Shu couldn't help squinting his eyes. These two things are really helpful to him, and they should be able to add a lot of points to further improve his conquerors hockey. So Luo Shu didn't refuse, and directly put this booklet into his arms. Since the other party has already said so, he naturally doesn't feel any guilt. In this pirate world, only strength can prove one's status. Luo Shu slowly raised his head to look at Rox, and asked with the corner of his mouth slightly raised. I'll surprise you then, Captain Rox. The voice fell. He turned around and left straight away, continuing to exercise his own strength. Before his strength reached the peak, Luo Shu didn't dare to relax in the slightest. Rox's failure is doomed. Before the battle in the Valley of the Gods, he must improve his strength very quickly. And that battle will also become a real battle for him to truly become famous on the sea and set foot on the top powerhouse. Shock the whole world. After several days of sailing, the Rocks pirates also successfully arrived at their target this time, the United Kingdom of Elodia. As the Rocks chosen target of revenge, as their pirate ship approaches, the entire kingdom of Elodia was also in panic. As one of the franchise countries, when they learned of the attack of the Rocks pirate group, they had already notified Marine as soon as possible. But if Marine wants to come here, I'm afraid it will take a lot of time. And this time is enough for the many pirates of the Rocks pirates to completely capture it. Although Elodia, as one of the franchise countries, naturally has its own army in the country, but because it oppresses the people all the year round, it is also an example of unpopularity. In fact, the national life of most of the members of the alliance is not good. Except for a few resource rich countries, the sky high gold that other countries need to spend is already considered a sky high figure. Where is there any extra mood to pay attention to the people? And so is Elodia. Hey, it's finally time to have a good kill. It's just an army from an allied country, how could it be the opponent of our rocks pirates? Ha ha ha. Gold in the sky. Here we come. The members of the rocks pirates also showed extremely excited smiles on their faces. With the order of rocks, it was like a ferocious beast coming out of the cage, and rushed straight into Elodia Adam, and started their own carnival. In order to find the location of Tian Tianjin as soon as possible, Rox is also a member of the huge Rox pirate group, divided into multiple teams to search. Luo Shu was assigned to a team headed by Edward Newgate. Ding. It is detected that the host has activated performance tasks. Performance content. 
solve the palace guards and find the gold in the sky. After completion, you will get the breath of the sun. Listening to the voice in his mind, Luo Shu's eyes could not help but light up slightly, and he clenched his fist again. Breath of the day. The special breathing method from Demon Slayer. Blade, if fully mastered, can greatly improve one's physical body and resilience. And most importantly, Sun Breath has the ability to derive breathing techniques. The ability to allow him to master other breathing methods, and he can also teach these breathing methods to those who are close to him. This is enough temptation for Luo Shu. If he wants to form a pirate group, he must find a way to improve the strength of the cadres. The breathing method is undoubtedly the most suitable choice among them. While Luo Shu was deep in thought, Edward Newgate couldn't help but take a few more glances at the boy's figure. Sensing the terrifying power contained in his seemingly thin body, he couldn't help but shrink his pupils slightly. It's only been a month since the other party became a member of the reserve novice. In terms of the aura exuded on the bright side alone, it is not weaker than most of the novice members, and even better. You must know that a month ago, he was obviously just a young man who was out of breath after killing a few sailors. But in this month's time, people can't help but be amazed by the constantly growing strength like a monster. Newgate couldn't help grinning. It seems that I have to find a way to find an opportunity to ask this kid for his opinion. The pirates led by Newgate are responsible for cleaning the guards of the palace and searching for gold in the sky. According to the rules of the Rock's pirates, no matter who gets the treasure first, only 30% of it needs to be handed over. The remaining 70% can be attributed to oneself. And even if it is the heavenly gold this time, half of it can be obtained. You must know that this is a franchise country, and it has accumulated a huge amount of money in the sky for three years. Purely from the perspective of value, it is at least equivalent to Bailey who is close to tens of billions. Faced with such a windfall, almost no pirate could keep his cool. Even Luo Shu is not surprised. After all, after the Valley of the Gods, he also had the idea of forming a force. Although what he is bound to is the strongest occupation system, in fact he is not simply a worker. He can also hold the position of captain and so on. After Luo Shu took a deep breath, he pulled out the handle of the knife at his waist, and the blade of the famous katana Kuji Kanasada also shone with a cold light. It's time to make a big fuss, inside Elodia's palace. A middle-aged man in luxurious clothes looked at the figures in white robes beside him with the same expression of panic, praying subconsciously. Master CP0. Please save us. These guys clearly came from the sky for gold. We must not let the heavenly gold of the celestial dragons fall into the hands of these vicious pirates. The middle-aged man wore a crown on his head, and he was obviously the king of Elaudia, named Filpo. The guards next to him couldn't help but swallowed, their eyes filled with intense fear. They saw with their own eyes that the many pirates from the rocks pirates easily destroyed the army guarding the palace. It was like a nightmare. They have never seen that there are people in this world who can be so strong, they are like monsters. And the masked figure, after hearing Filpo's cry for help, also made a flat voice. Don't worry, the gold in the sky is an item dedicated to God. Those pirates would never dare to make a move. And for the sake of your sincere offering of the heavenly gold, you won't be killed by those vicious people. With his voice came, it made Filpo's complexion unbearable. That's right, I have fallen into so much gold in the sky, no matter how strong those pirates are, they should not be able to compare with CP0. You must know that CP0 is the highest secret cipher pole directly under the world government. The world's top powerhouse with the strongest shield of celestial dragons. After all, those are just some pirates, even if they gather together, they should be just a simple rabble. In front of a master like CP0, they will definitely not act recklessly. Otherwise, if you annoy the celestial dragons, even the rocks pirates, there should be only one dead end. Just when Filpo was firm in his heart, boom. The palace gate was suddenly knocked open. A boy's flat voice gradually fell. As expected, all the good things should be hidden here. For Edward and Luo Shu who are knowledgeable. As long as within a certain distance, you can successfully find where the gold in the sky is. In the process of arriving at the palace, Luo Shu and others naturally encountered palace guards. It just took a moment, almost all of them were completely slaughtered by Luo Shu and the others. I didn't expect that as a franchise country, it has a guard force, and it is not their opponent at all in terms of strength, and it is simply considered fragile. Even the most powerful being among them, at most, it is close to the strength of naval headquarters vice admiral level. In the face of Edward Newgate, whose strength is gradually reaching the peak, and Luo Shu, who has the famous katana Kansada, they are not at all rivals. But Luo Shu didn't make frequent shots either. In order to face emergencies, he still has a lot of spare power. 
most of the miscellaneous fish were completely blown away by Edward Newgate's shockwave. Have to say, shock fruit deserves to be known as having the power to destroy time. Combined with the current Edward Newgate, the strength displayed may have reached the level of a cadre. Now the cadres of the Rocks Pirates, it's nothing more than a few people from Silver Axe. After hearing Luo Shu's voice, a terrified expression appeared on Filpo's face, and he couldn't help but retreated a few steps again. Hid directly behind the CP0 members, you must know that almost all the defensive forces of Elodia have been released by him, trying to stop the attack of the Rocks Pirates. But now the other party has actually arrived at the palace. Doesn't that mean, all the escorts he arranged were killed? Master CP0, it's these vicious guys, coveting the heavenly gold of the celestial dragons. We must not let them go like this, and as his voice fell. Edward Newgate and Luo Shu also set their sights on those figures in white robes, with expressions of surprise on their faces. Yo, I didn't expect CP0 to be here, it's a rare sight. The well known CP0 in the whole new world, both Edward Newgate and Luo Shu know about it. But if you see it with your own eyes, this is the first time. After all, CP0 generally only obeys the orders of celestial dragons, so when they are hunted down by marine, they have never seen CP0 mixed with them. Usually these guys are in the holy land Marie Joys. Or come out to perform various confidential tasks. It is rare to have contact with pirates like them galloping on the sea. But this doesn't mean that Edward and the others will be intimidated by it. On the contrary, if the members of CP0 can be beheaded, their bounties will undoubtedly be increased. From the perspective of the pirates on the rock ship, there is no doubt that it is very important. Even Luo Shu didn't expect to meet members from CP0 on the way to search for the gold in the sky. Your behavior is disrespectful to God. Now I order you to retreat immediately, otherwise you will provoke the word of God, no matter who you are, you will only have a simple dead end. Get out. The leading member of CP0 fell down with a flat voice. In their view, no matter how daring these pirates are, they should not dare to attack Tian Tianjin. After all, you must know what you have provoked. But the nobles behind the whole world, the celestial dragons who own the supreme power. Even if it is to mobilize the admiral of headquarters. For celestial dragons, it's just a matter of moving your fingers. And Firpo's face also revealed a look of joy, since there is such a reliable assistant as CP0, presumably these guys should not dare to act recklessly. Luo Shu didn't expect that the other party would let him go as soon as he came in. Glancing at the few CP0 members, Shichibuka is the strongest among them. Who on earth gave them the courage to speak like this? Guo Jingru? These send out CP0, the strength will not be strong. You must know that those celestial dragons are very life-threatening. Although their heads are very stupid, that with the protection of CP0 masters. It is indeed not easy to die. A sneer appeared on Luo Shu's face. It's just some celestial dragon's henchmen who dare to talk to us like that. Let me tell you, we are going to make a deal for heavenly gold today. I said so. Jesus couldn't take it away. And although those CP0 members didn't know who Jesus was, the murderous intent in Luo Shu's tone came out like a tide. Obviously, he didn't intend to continue to reason with them. And Edward Newgate on the side also laughed loudly, condensing the power of the shock fruit in his hand. The whole palace seemed to be crumbling due to the strong airflow. Gu la 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 la. Well said, it's just a few dogs from Celestial Dragons, and they think they are so precious. Lousy has long disliked you guys, and Filpo, who witnessed this scene, couldn't help but widen his eyes. You must know that if you kill the members of CP0 here and loot the gold in the sky, you will undoubtedly slap the world government in the face. Are these guys, still planning to compete with Admiral? As for Luo Shu's sense of knowledge, he also keenly discovered that there seemed to be a secret room in the underground of the palace. Could it be the so-called gold in the sky, just stored inside this secret room? Just as he thought of this in his heart, a familiar system sound came from his mind. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully completing the performance task. Breathing techniques for bonus day. Rewards are being distributed. As the system's voice fell, Luo Shu's breathing gradually changed, and a new force accompanied his breathing. Gradually circulated throughout his body. And this is exactly where the changes brought about by the sun breathing method. Although he has only just mastered it now, after a certain period of time, the increase in Luo Shu's strength is also obvious. Sun breathing method plus eight inner gates technique. The help these two forces have given to Luo Shu today can definitely be regarded as a timely help. Edward Newgate beside him, although he noticed that Luo Shu's aura seemed to have changed, but because he didn't know the reason, he didn't intend to ask more. After all, everyone has their own secrets. 
after the members of CP0 looked at each other, they also decided to strike first, and charge directly in the direction of Edward and Luo Shu. Luo Shu held the nine character Kanasada tightly. After showing an excited smile on his face, he followed Edward and headed straight up. Naval Headquarters. Kong, who was in charge of the marshal, looked at the information in his hands, and couldn't help but slam the table. Boom. Rocks that bastard, he actually attacked the franchise country. No. Dot his goal is gold in the sky, this guy must not be allowed to succeed. Since rocks established the rocks pirates in Hachinosu. In less than a few months, the entire sea of. New world was shocked. Never before has naval headquarters been so seriously challenged. Also recently for the first time, a real crisis was felt. It seems that this is just a very common attack, but in fact it is a blow to the trust of the member countries of the world government, marine and the world government. You must know why those joining countries donated so many heavenly gold. It is the strength of marine and world government. While helping them avoid pirate harassment, they can stabilize domestic peace and consolidate their own rule. But if the rocks pirates plundered the heavenly gold in one fell swoop, and also destroyed the world government alliance countries. For the world government, this is definitely an intolerable thing. Once the member countries have a crisis of confidence due to this, they are likely to choose to withdraw from the alliance, which will deal a blow to the dominance of the world government. And this move of rocks, apparently it just hit the seven inches of marine today. Kong couldn't help gritting his teeth, there was also a very angry look on his face. But even so, he is also very clear that today's rocks pirates are not like other pirates. An existence that can be solved casually. Even if it is any official member, in today's new world, it is definitely considered to be very strong. The big pirate with a bounty of over 100 million. And these people together, plus the cadres and the leader rocks. Undoubtedly a big problem. Although the current marine has three admirals, compared with him in terms of strength, they are actually somewhat unsatisfactory. I'm afraid it won't be the rocks opponent at all. And now the three admirals also have their own affairs to be busy. It seems that this time I can only rely on those newcomers, I hope they will not let me down. Kong thought of this, he couldn't help but took a deep breath, looked up at a soldier in front, and ordered in a flat tone. Go and call the three vice admirals, Suru, Garp, and Sengoku. After a while, the three figures headed by Garp hurried to the office. What happened? It made you so angry. Garp looked at Kong in front of him and grinned. He could sense the anger emanating from the other party's body, he had rarely seen Kong be so angry because of one thing. Sangoku and Crane next to him also nodded slightly. You must know that Kong has always displayed extremely strong strength, and few people can make him so angry. And Sangoku's eyes suddenly moved slightly, and he asked with a slightly suspicious tone. Could it be because of the rocks? His voice fell. He and Garp on the side both stared at each other. You know the name of the rocks has been resounding through naval headquarters recently. One naval headquarters vice admiral, several naval headquarters generals, and hundreds of elite soldiers from naval headquarters were killed. It is definitely an unprecedented event, in recent years naval headquarters has never suffered such a heavy loss. This also made the entire rocks pirate group famous, and the bounty alone has increased by several hundred million. Kong also nodded with a serious face. Rocks, that bastard, attacked the kingdom of Elodia, and intends to take away the heavenly gold. The current three admirals are busy, so this time I will take you there personally. We must not let those guys succeed, as his decisive voice fell. The faces of Garp and others couldn't help but freeze, and they saluted and nodded without hesitation. Clear. And after saluting, an expression of excitement appeared on Garp's face, he couldn't help clenching his fist, and swung it vigorously in the air. I hope I can catch up, and let that rocks guy know that we marines are not that easy to mess with. Let him meet the real overlord of the sea. And Sengoku was also amazed that Kong, as the marshal, wanted to take action himself, but when he thought of the strength of the rocks pirates, suddenly also fell silent. Unlike Garp, he can clearly understand that the strength of today's rocks pirates has probably reached an astonishing level. It is said that naval headquarters Vice Admiral Lucas last time. From the perspective of strength, it is not bad, but in front of rocks, he was easily killed by one move. Not even being able to resist, on this alone. I'm afraid Rock's strength is at least at the admiral level. Even on top of it, Crane gave Garp an annoyed look. Pull it down, if Marshal Kong didn't do it, we wouldn't be the Rock's opponent at all. It's hard enough just to be in charge of those official members. Although Garp's talent is definitely number one among the current naval headquarters, his strength is far from reaching its peak. Talent is talent, if you want to fight the Rock's head on, I'm afraid there is still a long way to go. After all, 
it is a real existence based on the apex of the world today. Even attacking allied countries, I'm afraid it's not worth mentioning in his eyes. You must know that even the current Marshal Kong is not sure that he can defeat the current Rocks, or even reach a tie. That's a good result for him. After all, Rocks' prestige has resounded throughout the New World as early as in the past, and now they have entered the real peak of the opponent. In terms of strength, I'm afraid it has reached an astonishing level. Although Kong is confident in his own strength, he doesn't think that the opponent is a character that can be defeated by himself alone. In the end, it still depends on the time in these few years. The Garp group, the height to which it can grow. And the reason why I brought them this time, it is also optimistic about their talents and potential. It's time to let them know what the real top combat power in this world looks like. It's urgent, let's start now. Kong's voice fell, he got up and walked straight outside. Garp and the others followed without hesitation. Travel to the United Kingdom of Elodia, and in the Palace of Elodia. The huge palace has already become incomplete at this moment. Obviously it has been subjected to extremely severe vibrations and fluctuations, and most of the walls have been destroyed together. And those figures in white robes who put down their big words. At this moment, they fell to the ground one after another, and the fresh blood seeping from their bodies stained the ground like a pool of blood. And Filpo, king of the kingdom, at this moment, he was also looking at this scene with a dumbfounded face. It never occurred to him that even CP0, which is the strongest shield of celestial dragons, can't compete with this group of vicious pirates. The monster man at the head, cooperating with a teenager who looked like he was only in his teens, he easily led the group of pirates to defeat everyone in CP0. How can this be? Isn't CP0 the celestial dragon's strongest shield? After Luo Shu and Edward finished solving those CP0s, they looked at Firpa with a half smile on their faces. It seems that the so called CP0 is not so strong? He actually wants to take away so much heavenly gold. And when Luo Shu mentioned the gold in the sky, Philpot immediately knelt down trembling as if he had grasped a life-saving straw, begging for mercy. Everyone. Dot you adults want the gold in the sky. As long as you can let me go, I will tell you where the gold in the sky is. Right. Gold in the sky. As long as he still has the position of the gold in the sky, these guys will never kill him so easily. Firpo felt extremely happy at the moment. Edward frowned suddenly. It was true that they were not able to get from those CP zeros just now. Get where the gold in the sky is, and if it is true what Fierpo said, then it is indeed necessary to save his life, and when he gets the heavenly gold. It's not too late to kill again, and while Edward was still thinking about it. Luo Shu, who was beside him, had already waved the handle of the knife in his hand, with a calm smile like a shira on his face. In Fierpo's unbelievable eyes, beheaded him. Thump. Blood flowed out continuously like a spring, and the headless corpse suddenly fell to the ground, staining the ground under his feet red. Edward asked with some doubts. There's no need to kill him so soon. It shouldn't matter if you wait until you find out the location of the gold in the sky. The other pirates around also nodded. If people from other teams are the first to discover Tianjin, it will not be good news for them at that time. After all, the first person to discover the gold in the sky and bring it back. To get the highest reward. But when they recalled the strength that Luo Shu showed just now, they couldn't help feeling extremely palpitated, and no one dared to criticize him. Although the strength demonstrated by Luo Shu and they novice members should be on the same level. But you have to know that they have been in the sea for many years before they let their strength reach this level. And what about Luo Shu? It only took about a month. If this allows the other party to continue to grow, I am afraid that it will not be long before they will completely leave them behind in terms of strength. Such a rate of progress, becoming a full member is just a sure thing. I am afraid that even the position of a cadre is not without opportunities. No one would be so stupid as to offend a rapidly growing genius just for the sake of a reward that had not yet been obtained. And Luo Shu also glanced at Edward beside him. He said with a calm look, I hate when people threaten me. And the location of the gold in the sky, I have now found it. His words. Suddenly Edward's eyes lit up. Then this guy is useless. You kid is amazing, you can be the first to discover where the gold in the sky is. You know, according to information, this batch of Tiantianjin accumulated for three years is equivalent to nearly 10 billion baileys. Want to know what this concept is? Even if it is known as the ultimate devil fruit, the op op fruit that can make people live forever in legendary is worth about 5 billion baileys. And this time he got tens of billions of heavenly gold. Even if it was handed over to the rocks. According to the rules on the ship, Edward and Luo Shu, who were the first to discover the gold in the sky, can each get at least 1 billion baileys. This is undoubtedly a huge sum of money. 
The place where the gold in the sky is located is in the secret room under the palace. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a mechanism here. Search carefully. The other pirate members who followed them also nodded quickly. After searching in the palace, they found a secret passage leading to the ground. And at the end of the secret passage, a steel gate that was sealed off was found. A steel gate of this level couldn't stop Edward Newgate's shock fruit at all, and a big hole was easily blasted out, revealing the mountain-like treasure inside. Edward ordered with a smile on his face. All of you are going to carry the treasure and prepare to send it to the ship. For him to set up a pirate group in the future, this sum of money is undoubtedly necessary. And his hometown is in great need of the money. The other pirates were also overjoyed and quickly agreed. Yes. If these treasures are handed in, each of them can get a lot, which is definitely several times more than usual. Seeing this scene, even Luo Shu couldn't help feeling a little emotional. Sure enough, the speed of getting money from pirates is much faster than that from marines. This time, they just robbed a franchise country and got so much treasure. If there are more robberies in the future, I am afraid that tens of billions of baileys will not be a dream. However, he quickly shook his head and put this thought behind him. It will not be so easy to obtain so many treasures next time. After all, after the Tianxiangjin incident this time, both marine and world government will definitely regard the rocks pirates as a thorn in their side. In the following days, I'm afraid I'll have to deal a lot with marine. The corner of Luo Shu's mouth couldn't help showing a smile, and he tightly held the handle of the knife in his hand. This also suits him. Only in such a battle can he grow up at the fastest speed. While others were carrying the treasure, he also took the opportunity to open his attribute panel. After obtaining the breath of the sun, his combat effectiveness should have improved a lot. However, how much there is, we still have to look at it to know. Luo Shu age. 14 years and 8 months position, preparatory internship member. Combat power. 1856, 5 for ordinary people, skills, intermediate swordsmanship, 135 one thousandths, intermediate physical arts, 87 one thousandths, intermediate conquerors hockey, 150 one thousandths, 8 inner gates technique, mastered, sun breathing technique, 5% mastery. Strength evaluation. Now host strength has surpassed naval headquarters Commodore, and the breath of the sun combined with eight inner gates has brought hosts full power explosion to a new level. Work unit. Rocks pirates, items. Washa gourmet coupons 1-2, big fast knife and nine characters. Luo Shu glanced at his current data. Really? Compared with before, his strength evaluation has improved a lot. Although it did not bring about a huge increase in combat effectiveness like the original eight inner gates. But know that the breath of the sun is only just mastered. To have such an improvement is already considered a pleasant surprise. And if the breath of the sun is used in conjunction with the eight inner gates, it seems that according to the system, there are additional magic effects. And soon the treasures of this batch of heavenly gold have been completely moved out. Edward and Luo Shu looked at each other, it is also where the turn and return to the rocks pirates took place. Now. On the ship of the rocks pirates. Rox quietly looked at the burning palace in the distance, with a sneer on the corner of his mouth. Merely deal with a member country of the world government. Naturally, he would not send all his members, let alone the guy Golden Lion Shaki, to accompany Luo Shu. After all, he does know, Golden Lion Shaki is by no means the kind of existence that can be willing to depend on others, if it is not because his strength is strong enough. The other party will not join the pirates if they say nothing. Although Edward is also extremely strong and talented, and he also holds the shock fruit, he will definitely not choose to betray him. At least before he gets killed by marine and world government. Don't worry about this aspect at all. At most, the other party wanted Luo Shu to be his family member, or a partner with a close relationship, instead of being regarded as a ready subordinate like Shaki. You must know that in today's Rock's view, even if the combined value of all novice members is completely inferior to that of Luo Shu alone today. And at this moment, his sense of knowledge also sensed the people who were heading here not far away. Rox looked up, in his field of vision, several figures carrying treasures were walking towards this side, and the leaders were Luo Shu and Edward. Rox couldn't help grinning. That kid's luck is really good. It seems that the bulk of the reward this time is probably on the two of them. He can see it at a glance, according to the huge amount of this batch of treasures, there is no doubt that it is the long-prepared heavenly gold of the kingdom of Elodia. And as Luo Shu and Edward who lead this team of pirates. There will also certainly be plenty of Baileys. And he just took this opportunity to make Luo Shu a real official crew member. And those members of the Rock's pirate group who stayed at the port couldn't help cheering after seeing so much gold in the sky. So much heavenly gold. This is a huge profit. Edward Newgate must be promoted to a cadre. Luo Shu and Edward, 
how many baileys do we have to share? It is estimated that there must be at least several hundred million, and even one billion is not impossible. I haven't made so much in the past few months. If I had known earlier, I would have followed. The members on the ship all showed envious expressions. To know that there are so many treasures, I am afraid that the value alone must be at least several billion bailey, which is a huge astronomical figure. And no one dared to think otherwise, after all, Edward Newgate, who is the leader, is now a popular candidate for the ship's cadres. He has the abilities of conqueror's hockey and shock fruit. I am afraid that in terms of strength alone, he is not weaker than the cadres at all. It might even be better than that. And Luo Shu was also specially promoted by the rocks, and the shocking talent he displayed was obvious to all in this month. Offended the other party now, after a few months, God knows how far his strength will reach. At least no one wants to be this early bird. And as they returned to the ship, Rox would command his men and use the phone bug to summon the rest of the team. After all, since they have all obtained the heavenly gold, then there is no need to delay here any longer. Although Rox is not worried about a head on collision with Marine, the goal of the Rox pirates at this stage is enough treasure. After the order is issued, Rox also turned around and shouted to the members with a smile. Edward and Luo Shu brought the goal of our operation, a huge amount of heavenly gold. If no one has an opinion, I have decided to promote Edward Newgate to the position of cadre, and Luo Shu will also become an official member of our Rox Pirates from now on. Tonight, we will hold a celebration banquet as usual. With the voice of Rox falling, the members on board also cheered, and no one questioned Rox's decision. After all, in their view, Edward Newgate, as the earthquake man, was originally a strong candidate for the cadre competition. Becoming a cadre is only a matter of time, and Luo Shu's promotion is enough to show that Rox values him, and naturally no one will touch Rock's bad luck at this time. Just in the corner, as a cadre, Silver Axe had a flash of jealousy in his eyes. You must know that as one of the cadres, he has not been able to obtain so much treasure, and now he is just Luo Shu who is preparing for novice. What virtue and ability! Even if Rox valued the opponent's talent, it would be a bit too outrageous. And just when he couldn't help but want to speak. Suddenly, the lookout's excited shouts came from the side. Report to the captain. Several warships are heading here. The target is without a doubt our Rox pirates. The voice fell, Rox turned his head immediately and happened to see those warships. And in his extremely strong sense of knowledge and knowledge, he also noticed several extremely powerful auras emanating from those warships. It is by no means comparable to those marines in the past. One of the breaths, I'm afraid it has reached the admiral level, and it may even go further. When Rox was criss crossing the sea before, Naturally, I have encountered Admiral more than once. But compared to the aura this time, even the admirals in naval headquarters seem to be slightly inferior. But if you want to compete with him, I'm afraid it's not enough. Rock's eyes are full of confidence, he looked at the surrounding members and cadres and shouted. Everyone is ready to fight, and those members picked up their weapons with excitement on their faces. Since defeating Marine last time, the bounty on them has also been greatly improved. And this time, if he can defeat the incoming Marine again, his reputation will be further improved by then. But Luo Shu didn't care about the incoming marine. In his mind, following the previous order from Rox, the mechanical sound of the system sounded again. Ding! The current host position has changed. Congratulations to host for his new position, full Rox member. Currently working wages have been raised. Hearing the voice in his mind, he couldn't help clenching his fists tightly, and the corners of his mouth raised slightly. It seems that the higher his position, the better the work reward he gets every day. The speed of becoming stronger is also faster. And Luo Shu also quickly set his next goal, that is to improve the strength as much as possible and at the same time promote the position to the cadre level. His eyes were on the incoming warships, he gripped the handle of the knife tightly at his waist. And at the bows of those warships, Kong, who was wearing a marshal's cloak, stared at the rocks pirates indifferently. Ever since he got the information that the Rox pirates were attacking the allied countries of Elodia, he brought his favorite generals with him. Going to bet the Rox pirates here, even if he failed to kill the opponent successfully, at least he had to snatch back the heavenly gold. Otherwise, the world government may have to be held accountable again. Accompanied by the sailing of the warship, Kong stared at where Rox was not far away, and shouted with a voice mixed with anger like a lion's roar. Rox! How dare you do that! Along with the sound, Many members of the rocks also noticed the marine coat on Kong, and obviously recognized the figure of the marine marshal. If it were changed to before, seeing such a strong marine, they undoubtedly had only one idea of running away. But now it's different. They are on the ship of the rocks pirates, the current overlord of the sea. 
even the marine marshal has nothing to fear. When Rox saw Kong shouting, he couldn't help squinting his eyes, and said with a smile on his face. Yo, isn't this the marine marshal? It seems that those few admiral wastes have not arrived here, otherwise, I would like to find them to talk about the old days. His frenzied voice, in an instant, the excitement in the hearts of the pirates on board was ignited. In the eyes of the world, Admiral, who is hailed as the highest combat power of Marine, is actually just a so-called trash in the mouth of rocks. This is their captain, now the real master of the sea rocks. Kong's face also turned black immediately, he clenched his fist tightly, and looked at rocks not far in front of him. But he also knows, if there is a conflict with the rocks at this stage, there will definitely be a lot of casualties. Since you know the old man, there is no need to say more. Hand over the heavenly gold, and I can let you go. As long as he can keep Tian Shangjin, at least when facing the world government later, Kong will also have a way to make a difference. There is no need to start a fight at this point. At least until Garp and Rox, as his voice fell. After making Rox stunned for a while, he couldn't help laughing out loud again. Do you think you want to scare me just because you are a marine marshal? It's too contemptuous of people. If I want to leave, can any of you stop it? There was a mocking look on his lips, and Kong's expression darkened in the same way. Garp next to him couldn't help clenching his fist when he heard the words. Looked at Rox and snapped. It's just a pirate, and you really think of yourself as the overlord of the sea? Today is the day when you Rox pirates will be wiped out. And as his voice fell, Rox also noticed Garp next to Kong. The supernova among the famed marine, he has also heard the other's name. But it didn't arouse the slightest interest in Rox. After all, in his opinion, in the current marine, if there is someone who can compete with him one or two. Only Kong in front of him was the only one. What Garp, Sengoku, after all, are some guys who haven't grown up yet. There is no way to compare with him, and just when he was about to teach Garp a lesson. But suddenly heard a boy's voice from the side. Leave that guy to me, Captain. Rox glanced at Luo Shu immediately, raised his eyebrows and said calmly. Okay, when we fight later, I'll leave that guy to you. I'll deal with that old Kong thing, he also had some expectations in his heart. After all, no matter how you say it, Garp is also the genius of naval headquarters today, and his strength can be regarded as outstanding even among Marine Vice Admiral. And Luo Shu is just a boy who has just awakened hockey for a month. No matter how you look at it, it is not the opponent of the opponent. But since he has already said that, he must be hiding some cards. Rocks he wants to see, how strong is Luo Shu's talent? When Kong saw that Rox obviously ignored his side, a very strong aura gradually permeated his whole body. Urushi Black's armed color covered his fist. Kong's expression froze. Stepping forward, he rushed towards the direction of Rox and shouted loudly at the same time. The whole army assault. Rox to me. Others make raids. No matter what, we must take back the gold in the sky. What Rox said just now. Apparently Kong, who is the marshal of the marine, has been annoyed. After all, what Kong said just now can be counted as leniency towards the rocks pirates. You can leave just by asking the other party to hand over the heavenly gold. If this is known to the outside world, I'm afraid everyone will be shocked. After all, in the eyes of the outside world today, naval headquarters is undoubtedly the overlord on the sea of New World today. Even if the rocks pirates have gained fame, but if you want to compete with naval headquarters, it is still not realistic. But Kong didn't expect. I have already made such concessions, and that extremely arrogant Rox has no sense of flattery. And Garp, one of Kong's disciples, naturally, he was also aware of the anger in the opponent's heart at the moment, so he couldn't help but clenched his fist tightly, and rushed forward with a sudden step. And his goal, it is Edward Newgate who has just returned to the Rox pirates now. He didn't pay attention to Luo Shu who just let go of his harsh words at all. After all, compared with Edward Newgate, the famous earthquake man in New World today, an unknown boy like Luo Shu would not attract his attention at all. Boom. With the sudden step of Garp's foot, the deck of the warship shook violently. And Sengoku and Crane on the side, looking at Garp's impatient figure, he also showed a helpless expression on his face. That Garp guy, he's still the same. The boy just now wanted to stop Garp, it must have underestimated him. Crane also said with a light smile. The two of them obviously didn't take Luo Shu's words to heart. After all, you must know that Garp is in the naval headquarters today, but he already has the title of elite vice admiral. Even in the naval headquarters where strong men emerge in large numbers. In the absence of admiral, today's Garp is definitely among the best in terms of strength. And then the two of them also shot one after another, fighting with many pirates of the rocks pirates. 
But in the absence of cadres, the usual official members and novice members of the ROCKS pirate group are not at all the joint opponents of the Marine Iron Triangle today. It's just that such a level of casualties is not taken seriously by ROCKS at all. You must know that the pirates who want to join the ROCKS pirates today, even if they are placed in outer mansion, may be able to crowd a small island. Except for a few existences that he is optimistic about. The rest are just cannon fodder and consumables. And Kong, who was fighting with rocks at the moment, obviously had an ugly expression on his face, and couldn't help but gritted his teeth. It never occurred to him, rocks didn't care about the casualties of his subordinates at all. You must know that unlike these pirates, the marine soldiers brought by Kong this time are all the best among naval headquarters. The original intention is to let them grow up as soon as possible in the fight. But if this continues, the casualties will exceed his expectations. A breakthrough must be opened as soon as possible. Kong set his gaze on the direction Garp hit just now, his pupils shrank suddenly, showing an expression of disbelief. Because in front of that Garp, a boy who looked like he was only about 10 years old. He managed to stop him. Although it seemed that the boy was clearly at a disadvantage, it was enough to surprise Kong. You must know Garp's talent, but he is the clearest. Among today's naval headquarters, in terms of talent in combat, no one can be stronger than Garp. Even Sengoku and Zephyr, who also have the name of Supernova. They are also slightly inferior. And this young man who looks much younger than Garp can actually master Conqueror's hockey to this level. Where is this sacred? Among the rocks information he had obtained before, there was never anything about this boy. Damn it. If you have the ability, come head to head. What does it look like hiding? Garp cast Moonwalk at his feet, waved his fist, and shouted angrily. When he first met this black-haired boy, he thought he could easily deal with him, but the other party didn't know what method to use. Greatly improved its own speed and strength, is it devil fruit? The idea flashed through Garp's mind, but he quickly threw it out. He had never heard of a devil fruit capable of such a thing. Compared with fruit ability, what this young man displayed was more like some kind of physical secret technique. I'm afraid it is some kind of secret technique that can improve one's physical fitness in a short period of time, but it should be a heavy burden on the body. After thinking about this, there was also a smile on the corner of Garp's mouth. HMPH. Even if you use this secret technique, you will definitely not be my opponent. I want to see how long you can last, this battle will undoubtedly be my victory. He has enough confidence in the power of his fist. As long as the effect of the secret technique dragged on this kid fades away, it will undoubtedly be his victory at that time. Luo Shu also frowned upon hearing this, really? I don't think so. As expected, Garp has a very high fighting talent. In just a few rounds of fighting, he has already noticed the disadvantages of his eight inner gate state. But he probably didn't expect, after mastering the sun breathing method, the current duration of Luo Shu eight inner gates. But it is much stronger than before, and more importantly, the eight inner gates technique he was able to activate has not yet reached its peak. Luo Shu suddenly retreated a few steps, and immediately opened a distance of several meters from Garp. Garp also showed a confident look on his face. HMPH, it seems that you can only last so far, brat. In his opinion, although Luo Shu did a good job, it was limited to that. Just when he was going to trouble Edward and others. An extremely strong aura suddenly gathered on Luo Shu's body. His whole body was congested and turned red and the emerging veins were mixed with green's airflow fluctuations, gathering and whistling away at this moment. He suddenly shouted, the third life gate, open. Words fell, the strong airflow spread towards the surroundings at this moment, and the astonishing aura on his body rose again. Even Garp's face, he also suddenly turned his head to look at Luo Shu, with a look of astonishment and surprise on his face. He can become stronger. The faces of Sengoku and Crane suddenly showed serious expressions. They were able to clearly perceive the aura erupting from Luo Shu's body through their knowledge, and at this moment they had a further improvement. What kind of secret technique is this? To be able to achieve this effect. And although Garp was surprised in his heart, he didn't panic too much. After all, he has seen many storms and waves now, even if Luo Shu's strength has been further increased, he will definitely not be his opponent. Luo Shu took a deep breath, and suddenly swung the handle of the knife in his hand. The mighty blade at this moment and the fist covered by Garp's armament hockey. It collided violently. Clang! And the shock wave erupted by the impact of the two. The people around who were still fighting couldn't help being moved for a moment. And those official members who did not take Luo Shu seriously in the past. At this moment, their eyes widened. That guy Luo Shu's strength. Dot can he be this strong? It's too scary. Hiss! 
it's a good thing I didn't have any idea about his treasure. They never imagined that Luo Shu, who usually looks like a preparatory novice, could be on par with Marine Vice Admiral. To know that even among full members, there is no doubt that there are only a few pirates who can compete with a master like Garp. No matter what method Luo Shu used, he can improve his strength to this level within a month, and his future prospects are absolutely unlimited. Just give him some more time, the position of Kadri on the rocks pirates is almost a certainty. Garp felt the sharpness of the blade on his fist. His complexion was also quite ugly. After the increase just now, the strength of this young man is not weaker than him at all. I didn't expect this kid to be so strong, but because of this, it is absolutely impossible to let him survive. Today's Garp is the iron triangle of the current naval headquarters. In his eyes, all pirates who do evil, they should all be crushed by his iron fist, and the boy in his teens in front of him was undoubtedly the seed of evil. If he is allowed to continue to grow, he will most likely be the next rocks. Shua, Shua, Shua. At this moment, the iron fists that followed like a storm collided with the blade in Luo Shu's hand non stop. Set off a burst of air that spreads away, obviously. There is no doubt that Garp has fully demonstrated his own strength. And Luo Shu couldn't help grinning. What he longed for was undoubtedly this battle. Now that we have come to this era, if we don't fight guys like Garp and Roger, that will definitely make myself regret. If it weren't for the fact that his current strength is still a little weaker, Luo Shu might want to experience it for himself. Now, as the strongest overlord in the sea, rocks with unfathomable power, and with the confrontation of blades and iron fists between Luo Shu and Garp, they both took a few steps back at the same moment. Garp retracted his fist slightly, feeling the armed color that was almost cut by the blade just now, he took a deep breath. I didn't expect a young man to possess such power. Little devil, what's your name? The opponent's strength completely exceeded his expectations. I thought that the state just now could not be maintained for too long, but I didn't expect that the other party could actually entangle him to this extent. You must know that it is different from Sengoku and Crane. The reason why he was able to become the strongest among the new generation of marines was never the power of devil fruit. Rather, it's true taijutsu and pure two-color hockey. Although he doesn't have conqueror's hockey, no one in the entire naval headquarters can match his two-color hockey and physical talent. But that's who he is, actually with a boy who looked like he was only in his teens. It didn't take much advantage in gymnastics, although most of the credit lies in the very weird secret skills, but the opponent's talent in hockey and physical skills. There is no doubt about it. Otherwise, even with the blessing of secret skills, it is impossible to be his opponent at all. Luo Shu just slowly clenched the handle of the knife, with a wild smile on his face. Just call me Luo Shu. This is a name that will resound across the sea sooner or later. The tiger's mouth on his palm was also trembling slightly, obviously due to the impact of the confrontation just now. After all, Garp's current strength is not underestimated. Even when he opened the third gate before the eight inner gates, it was only barely able to match it. If you want to win, I'm afraid I still have to use the follow up. Garp snorted coldly when he heard the words Luo Shu, it's time for you to experience the true power of Marine. It's not something pirates like you can compare with. His eyes froze suddenly, power burst out from under his feet, and his figure disappeared in place again. And this is impressively, Marine Six Styles Advanced Skills, Razor. The Razor is a fusion technique of moonwalk and shaving. The speed is the same as shaving, but on the basis of shaving, the flexibility of movement is enhanced and capable of forming sharp orbits in midair. Only a very few generals who have a deep understanding of Marine Six Styles can fully master this skill. And facing this scene, Luo Shu just let out a cold snort, and the momentum all over his body gathered and surged. The fourth injury door. Open. If the former third gate is still hovering in the safe zone. At the beginning of the fourth injury gate, it began to enter the eight inner gates state in a real sense, and stepped into the danger zone of the eight inner gates. Luo Shu felt the amazing power emerging from his body. Taking a deep breath and staring at the incoming garp. It's time for a quick fight. Eight inner gates is an explosion of the limitability of the body. Then how much ability it exploded, how much damage the body will inevitably suffer. No matter how strong the body is exercised, it can only reduce the degree of this kind of injury as much as possible, but cannot completely eliminate it. Although today's Luo Shu has the blessing of the sun's breathing method. But once it reaches the eight inner gates above the fourth gate, it will cause great harm to the body, and may even leave hidden dangers. This is something Luo Shu doesn't want to see. So he must also grasp this period of time, destroy Garp in one fell swoop. And the aftermath of the collision between the two swept through the surrounding area, 
making the pirates and marines who were fighting around them startled. And in the sky at this moment, the battle between rocks and Kong was also a bit stiff for a while. Although Kong had some advantages on the bright side, he could also sense that the opponent didn't use all his strength. Neither of them obviously had the idea of exchanging injuries for injuries. So you can also focus on observing the battle below at this moment. But when Kong saw Garp being stopped by Luo Shu, a look of astonishment appeared in Kong's eyes, obviously this scene was not what he expected. As naval headquarters in public, Kong is the one who knows Garp's true combat power best. Although it is not expected that the other party will break through the rocks pirates in one fell swoop, but at least it should be in existence close to the cadres like Edward. Call back and forth. But it never occurred to him that a kid on the rocks pirates actually possessed such terrifying strength. And rocks laughed out loud. It seems that the current marine has nothing to be afraid of. The so called supernova can't even beat Luo Shu. Still trying to stop Lousy in vain, it's just a dream. Although rocks had expectations for Luo Shu's strength in his heart, but never expected him to actually stop Garp. After all, Garp is now in a period of high speed growth in strength, and even among the rocks pirates, there are only a few who can compete with it. But I didn't expect the strength demonstrated by Luo Shu. It completely exceeded his expectations. In just one month of growth, he was able to compete head on with Garp, who is the naval headquarters vice admiral. If it takes a while longer, I'm afraid that even the so called cadre position is not completely without chance. Rox doesn't care what method the opponent used to improve his strength. Since he can contribute to his great cause, the stronger Luo Shu's strength, the better. It can even be used to force Marine to make these proud guys truly realize the threat of their Rox pirates. Thinking of this, the corner of Rox's mouth revealed a mocking look. The so called Marine Vice Admiral can't even compare to a kid who has just awakened hockey for a month. You know he's only 14 years old this year, the voice just fell. Just let Kong's pupils shrink suddenly, and at the moment when he was just stunned, Rox, who had incomparably rich combat experience, naturally would not let this opportunity pass by. Without hesitation, he kicked suddenly, directly kicked Kong's figure completely away. After flying tens of meters in midair, he reluctantly cast Marine Six Styles to stabilize his posture in midair. The marine below couldn't help but exclaim, Marshal Kong. Damn. That rocks is so strong. Isn't even the marshal of naval headquarters his opponent? But Kong didn't pay attention to those marines panic at the moment. His heart was full of horror at this moment, if Rox isn't lying. That brat named Luo Shu, in terms of pure talent, can be regarded as a monster through and through. But is what Rox said true? Can someone really improve their strength to this level in just one month? Or is it just pure psychological warfare? Kong's originally calm heart was also stirred up by this sudden news at this moment, and he couldn't help but took a deep breath. Anyway. Even if the one month news is fake, but the 14 year old probably won't be fake. And to be able to reach this level of terrifying strength in his teens, this kind of talent is much stronger than Garp. And it is the genius of why did you join the Rocks Pirates? Kong didn't know something, if it weren't for the fact that he was bound to the pirate profession from the beginning, maybe Luo Shu would really have chosen Marine. After all, I work in the rocks pirates, in terms of stability, it is definitely not as strong as naval headquarters. But there's no point in thinking about it now. Kong threw the messy thoughts out of his mind, and his expression returned to seriousness. Now that the kid named Luo Shu joined the rocks pirates, he is undoubtedly their marine's enemy. And such a high talent will pose a great threat to marine. Kong didn't want another powerful cadre among the rocks pirates. And if that Luo Shu continues to become stronger, I'm afraid it's only a matter of time before even catching up to a top player like Rox. Rox stared at Kong with a sneer. Hey, hey, you dare to distract yourself in front of me, Rox, you really don't pay attention to me. It's really a thick skinned guy. There was no care in his tone. Obviously, he didn't care about not being able to hit Kong hard in one fell swoop just now. No matter how strong the opponent is, he is the marshal of naval headquarters. It is unrealistic to decide the winner in a short time. And just when Rox was about to move on, only to find that Guy Kong suddenly yelled in the direction of Garp and others. Sangoku, Suru, you two do it too. We must not let that brat named Luo Shu go back alive in this battle. After Sangoku and Crane heard the words, he also couldn't help being stunned, and then became a little more serious. It seems that the kid who fought against Garp is really extraordinary. It's actually able to make Marshal Kong take it so seriously. Although the two did not put all their attention on Garp's direction, Kong's order had been issued. Naturally, they will not violate it in the slightest. After all, that young man's talent is absolutely shocking. 
If the other party is allowed to successfully survive this disaster, it will undoubtedly be equal to letting the tiger go back to the mountain. Sangoku focused slightly, accompanied by a roar of anger, dots of light appeared on the surface of his body. And the pirates of rocks were also a little surprised. What happened? What's on that marine? And in their astonishment, gold's Buddha light completely covered Sangoku's figure in an instant. Turning him into a golden body that swells like a Buddha. Sangoku stared at Luo Shu who was fighting with Garp with extremely sharp eyes. The shockwaves driven with all their strength converged. Boom. And at the moment of the shockwave shot, a little light appeared from Sengoku's huge Buddha-like palm. Blooming an astonishing shockwave in the direction of Luo Shu. Go straight. Boom. Just when the shockwave was about to hit Luo Shu. A powerful Naginata swung suddenly, gathered the power of shock fruit, and split it completely in one fell swoop. It was Edward Newgate wielding Kong Yunki, he looked in Sengoku's direction and grinned. Gu la la la. I didn't expect Tang Tang Marine to come to gang fights. A bunch of naval headquarters vice admirals, it's not good to shoot at a teenager. I remember your name is Sengoku, let me be your opponent. With Edward Newgate obstructing, Sengoku, who was covered in golden light, also had a gloomy face. According to the information Marine has obtained so far, Earthquakeman Edward Newgate's strength is likely to be no weaker than any cadre. Even among the rocks pirates, definitely one of the best. Even if he has the Buddha fruit, it is definitely not an easy task to defeat Edward Newgate. Not to mention helping Garp, and the crane on the side also gradually became dignified. You must know that the longer the delay is, the worse it will be for them. After all, there are still many cadres and members of the Rocks Pirates, who still stay in the kingdom of Elodia. If you wait until they arrive, the idea of a quick fix is completely and completely bankrupt. And if the audience felt the deepest about Luo Shu's talent, it is undoubtedly Garp who is currently the opponent. If Luo Shu continues to grow, I'm afraid it won't take long to become a top player like Rox. Even Garp, who is very proud now, I also have to admit that the boy in front of me is probably one of the most talented pirates ever. Marshal Kong is right, he must not be allowed to continue to grow. Garp made up his mind, and he swung the iron fist covered with armor in his hand more and more fiercely. With the ongoing fight between Luo Shu and Garp, bursts of airflow also roared towards the surroundings. At this moment, Luo Shu also successfully took the initiative in the confrontation after opening the eight inner gates of the fourth gate. On the contrary, Garp seemed to be beaten passively. The naval headquarters coat on his body became tattered under Kuji Kanasada's blade, and he looked very embarrassed. But it didn't really hurt that much. Seeing this, Luo Shu also sighed in his heart. It seems that it is still a bit too reluctant. Although he can increase his power through eight inner gates. However, the gap between his and Garp's armed colors is still very large, even with a big sharp knife, it is difficult to cause enough damage. After all, the time to obtain the system is still too short. If he is given another two or three months to raise the level of Conqueror's hockey to advanced. I'm afraid that's enough to knock Garp out by now. But now, confronting Garp, who has a very strong strength in armament hockey, with the newly mastered breath of the sun and eight inner gates. It's not an easy thing to tell the truth. But to be able to fight Garp to this level, to be honest, Luo Shu is already very satisfied. After all, he has only been working for a month now. If he works in the Rocks Pirates for a while, his strength will become even stronger by then. And when everyone is entangled, a familiar voice suddenly came from not far from the port. First didn't expect Marine to come here ahead of time, so it's finally fun. Hey! Edward and Luo Shu actually found Tian Tianjin first, it would be great if it was me. Captain Rox is actually fighting Marine Marshal Kong. As expected of our captain, the cadres on the other Rox pirate ships who were sent out before also rushed back one after another. After seeing the ships surrounded by Marine, there was also excitement on their faces. And Golden Lion Shaki is among them, when he saw Luo Shu who was inextricably fighting with Garp, after recognizing the identity of Garp Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, his eyes widened for a moment. That kid was able to suppress that Garp? Real or fake? We must know that even if Garp is placed in New World today, he can be regarded as a supernova level genius who has gained fame. Even Shaki now, there is no certainty that they can defeat the opponent steadily. And the strength that Luo Shu showed before, logically speaking, should not be Garp's opponent at all. In the end what happened? And Rox, who was watching Luo Shu's fight, obviously realized the plight of the opponent. Despite being able to suppress Garp, but if you want to win, I am afraid it will take some time to grow. But despite this, Rox can be considered quite satisfied with this. I'm afraid that after Kong let them go back, 
they will be unable to sleep all night because of the threat of that boy Luo Shu. Now he has got the answer he wanted. Now that everyone has arrived. Then there is no need to continue to entangle with this group of pirates. And when Kong saw the other cadres from the rocks pirates, a trace of anxiety flashed in his eyes. He is clear now. In the absence of other admiral of headquarters present. Based on the current marine iron triangle and his desire to keep the rocks Haza group, it is absolutely difficult. What made Kong feel even worse was that, the existence of Luo Shu. If, as Rox puts it, once that guy Luo Shu is let go this time, I'm afraid that when we meet next time. God knows how strong it will be, boom. Accompanied by another round of collision between the two in the sky. The figure of Rox retreated a few steps with the strength, and after a distance, he looked at Kong and laughed loudly. Ha ha ha. It seems that the so-called Martial Marine is not very powerful. The next era will be ruled by me, Rox, and Marine, will be a thing of the past. And just when Kong was about to refute, he saw that the air around Rox suddenly became violent. Something is wrong. Kong's heart was full of sirens, and he couldn't help but stare at Rox in front of him. Even the people below couldn't help but look sideways due to the violent airflow, obviously wanting to see what happened. The corners of Rox's mouth curled up. I don't seem to have said that I still have the devil fruit ability. The voice fell, at that moment, the storm suddenly rose. The storm is howling. The surrounding waves were accompanied by strong winds, which kept setting off waves of waves. So strong. As this rocks? After Luo Shu and Garb drew a certain distance, they looked sideways at the sky. To be honest, Luo Shu is also very curious about the real strength of rocks. As the former sea overlord who could only be defeated by the joint efforts of One Piece Roger and Marine Hero Garp, the opponent possesses true strength. How strong is it? This has always been a mystery in his mind. I thought he was a strong physique player like Garp, after all, he could compete with Marine Marshal Kong in terms of physical technique alone. But until he used his fruit ability, it was only then that Luo Shu realized that he still underestimated the Sea Lord. Fruit of the Storm. Even in the previous life forum. It is also known as one of the most destructive fruits. It is also very likely to be the fruit ability of the revolutionary boss, Luffy's father dragon. Although it was just speculation on the forum in the previous life. But the credibility is not low to be honest. And when Luo Shu saw Rox driving the power of the storm, he raised the opponent's strength to a higher level in his heart. Rox today, I am afraid that compared with the four emperors of later generations, their strength is even stronger. Don't look at just this one, when the strength reaches a certain level, even if it is only a small step forward, it can definitely be said that there is a world of difference. And Kong also looked at the figure of Rox, and couldn't help but clench his iron fist tightly. The opponent's strength is strong, it has exceeded his expectations. An ominous premonition suddenly rose in his heart, and he suddenly subconsciously shouted loudly. All marines retreat. Return to the warship immediately, all ships retreat. And he hadn't finished speaking, I saw the inscrutable and indifferent smile on Rox's face. It's too late now. Kong, just wait for the good show. The voice fell, accompanied by the howling air that erupted from Rox. The surrounding atmosphere seemed to be berserk for an instant, and the giant tornado condensed into a solid body surrounded several warships at this moment. The waves that were raised hit the warship, shaking it constantly. Under the control of Rox, those tornadoes seem to hit the warship directly at the same time. Let whether it is Marine or the members of the Rox pirate group. All showed shocking colors and the shock in Marine's eyes quickly turned into fear. Damn it. The tornado is coming. If you resist stubbornly, even a warship will definitely not be able to hold it. We can't stay here any longer. The sounds of panic from the Marines kept coming. And Sangoku, Garp, and Suru, who are the Iron Triangle of Marine, are the three. At this moment, there was also a look of horror on his face. This pirate overlord called Rox is too terrifying in terms of strength alone. If they want to contend at this stage, I'm afraid there is still a big gap. After hearing what Kong said, Garp also understood that it was completely impossible to continue the battle. He looked at Luo Shu rather unwillingly. This was the first time he was deflated in the hands of someone younger than himself. A sense of frustration can't help but rise in my heart. This time he failed to defeat this boy named Luo Shu, and I am afraid that it will become even more difficult next time. The extremely terrifying secret technique on the other party coupled with the blessing of his conqueror's hockey talent and sword skills. I am afraid that the achievements in the future will not be lower than that of Rox, the current pirate overlord. You wait. Lousy is called Garp, damn pirate, sooner or later you will be sent to impel down. After Garp put down a harsh word, 
then cast Marine Six Styles, followed the other two, and returned to the warship. Facing the incomparably violent sea tornado, even he was not at all sure that he could counter its power head on. Since this plan has failed, there is no need for Marine to continue to pay a higher price. After all, the current loss has made Kong feel unacceptable, if one or two warships are destroyed by the tornado. When the time comes, the name of the Marine Overlord. But I can't sit still. Luo Shu, on the other hand, looked at the Garp fleeing in a panic, with a calm expression. Obviously, he didn't take the other party's harsh words to heart. If he was allowed to work for another month or two, it would still be unknown who would bet on whom. And under his witness, those extremely terrifying tornadoes surrounded the departing warships, making the five large warships brought by Kong, Iron Triangle and others. Immediately, two ships sank completely in place. Not only that, even more than a hundred elite soldiers of naval headquarters were involved in the unstoppable tornado and died completely. Kong's eyes were already on fire, there was also a look of unrevealable anger on his face, looking at the rocks pirates moored at the port in the distance. Damn rocks. Next time I will make you pay the price. And for those marines who died, Luo Shu naturally would not have any extra mercy. Nothing more than winner and loser, if he hadn't possessed the eight inner gates from the system, I'm afraid there might be one more corpse lying on the ground today. Phew. It's finally done. Luo Shu breathed a sigh of relief. After untying the eight inner gates state, a sense of exhaustion surged out in an instant. It made him frown suddenly, I have to take a good rest later. Despite systematic improvements, but the burden brought by the eight inner gates is by no means something that can be easily borne. But as long as his physical skill level can be improved a bit, then the burden brought by the eight inner gates will also be reduced a lot. The same is true for the mastery of the sun's breathing method. The familiar mechanical sound also sounded in his mind. Ding. Congratulations on completing today's extra performance task. Rewarded. Sun's breath control plus 10%, the system sound drops. A warm current also emerged from Luo Shu's body. It also reduced his fatigue a lot. It seems that as long as the mastery of the sun's breathing technique is improved as much as possible, the effect of eight inner gates should also be obtained. Get a further boost. And Rox also returned to the boat at this moment, and after looking at the surviving people, he also laughed happily and said. HMPH. This time I finally taught those marines another lesson. Let's sail. From now on, this sea will be our era. Followed by another round of defeat for Marine. The whole new world was shaken by it. No one would have thought that the now famous Marine Iron Triangle would be joined by naval headquarters Marshal Kong. Going to encircle and suppress today's Rock's pirate group, they couldn't help each other. Instead, several warships were sunk by themselves. If the first Marine route was due to underestimating the strength of the Rock's pirates. So this time there is no doubt that there is a gap in strength. Majestic naval headquarters, plus several naval headquarters vice admirals who have recently gone supernova at sea. Even a cadre of the rocks pirates, none were successfully killed. Enough to see the strength gap between the two sides. The rocks pirates successfully plundered the heavenly gold originally dedicated to the celestial dragons from the kingdom of Elodia. Together with killing the king of Elodia and the members of CP0. This also made the name of the rocks pirate group Sea Overlord more and more resounding, even surpassing the current naval headquarters. After all, you must know that it is gold in the sky. Before the rocks, never has a pirate been so daring enough to snatch the heavenly gold dedicated to the celestial dragons. From this point of view, it is enough to see that the rocks pirates don't take the world government seriously at all. Even the so-called world noble celestial dragons. For these vicious pirates on the rocks pirates ship, it is completely inappropriate. And what is even more shocking is that, the strong strength that rocks showed in this battle, when the marshal of the dignified naval headquarters faced the rocks head on, he couldn't take advantage. He was even forced to retreat instead. If these words were put back in the past, I am afraid that no one would believe them. After all, Marshal Marine is the highest combat power in the entire naval headquarters. Even Admiral of Naval Headquarters is weaker than Marshal Marine. Only those who are at the apex of the entire Marine. Only then was he able to assume the position of Marshal of Naval Headquarters. And as naval headquarters, which originally stood at the top of the entire New World Sea area, they couldn't stop the rocks pirates from raging. That on this sea, can anyone really stop the rise of the rocks pirates? This can't help but make the hearts of the kings of many alliance countries. There was gradually a sense of panic. If even naval headquarters can't stop the rocks pirates, then they offer the so-called heavenly gold every year. And what is it for? Naval headquarters. Kong sat in front of his desk with a gloomy face looking at the mountains of reports in front of him, most of which were the countries that joined the various world governments. 
complain about the incompetence of naval headquarters today. Sangoku, Garp, and Suru also stood silently in the office. They never thought that they would attack together with Kong, and they couldn't deal with the rocks pirates. Even in terms of loss, their naval headquarters side suffered even greater casualties. After all, most of the people who died on the rock ship were novices and official members. Only one recruiting meeting is needed to make up for it. And the hundreds of elite soldiers who died in their naval headquarters. But it's not that easy. Among them, the one with the most unhappy expression was Garp who was clenching his fists at the moment. He thought he could show off Kamui in this operation. But I didn't expect that a boy who was only in his teens would successfully suppress him. If it weren't for the fact that he still possesses extremely strong strength from the perspective of armed color. Otherwise, I'm afraid he would have been injured long ago. At this time, the phone bug on the table in front of Kong rang suddenly. Do who? Tu oo. After taking a deep breath, Kong still reached out to pick up the phone bug. And the moment he just picked it up, then I heard a desperate voice coming from it. Kong. What on earth are you eating? You couldn't even kill a member of the Rocks Pirates. If it's just like this, it's fine, you should at least get back the gold in the sky. Now the franchise countries are all yelling non stop. And heard the voice from within, there was also a mocking look on Kong's face. Really? I want to ask why the news about Tian Shanjin leaked out this time. If I remember correctly, this kind of thing is only known inside CP0. How on earth did the rocks know? Kong didn't intend to start a conflict with the rocks pirates immediately. Instead, they want to wait for Garp and others to grow up before completely annihilating the current rocks pirate group. But this time there was a leak of information about Tian Shanjin. As a result, he had to bring Garp and others who had not fully grown up without the assistance of Admiral. Engage the rocks. In the final analysis, there is a problem with the intelligence inside the world government. Now it's their naval headquarters who are to blame, these guys are a bit too domineering. Want to grab the gold from the rocks? Without the assistance of other admirals, it is completely impossible. He has the ability of storm fruit, Kong snapped. The other end of the phone also fell into silence. The world government did not pay too much attention to the rise of the rocks pirates before, otherwise it would not even matter what the fruit ability of the rocks is. None of them have been investigated clearly. You must know that even CP0 has no information that can be found out. Naval headquarters has no way of knowing. But no matter what, it is absolutely impossible for the world government to admit its mistakes in front of Marine, after all, the status of the two is not at the same level. But Kong's purpose is not this, after he took a deep breath, his face gradually became serious. Forget about rocks for now, there is a more terrifying presence on his ship. A monster on the rise.